Welcome to Reality Creative Video. I'm Hermes, and today we're going to talk about my new version 6 tops. Now, some of you know that I post my blueprints for my 3D printed files on my website. And that's so that you can print these up yourself. And I, I know uh, some of you use them, maybe not a great many, but some of you use my tops. And a while ago, we had a problem. I had a problem with the plasma arc top where it went on fire. Because, well, the material, which is ABS plastic or even PLA, uh, that this stuff is made from, is uh, has a very low resistance. And especially when you're doing 15,000 volts, that's, you know, it doesn't take much to cause an arc. And I pulled all of my tops off, even the low voltage DC tops, because there's was still, you know, a chance that you we could have if the water was just right uh, if you splashed water on top here was just right you could have a conduction going through the top and uh, causing a fire so I've been experimenting with the glass tubes I think a few weeks ago I released what I'm calling version 5 of my tops where um, basically I just I, I gave you two uh, three different kinds of tops that you can use. Uh, one for low voltage electrolysis, one for plasma arc with large wires, one with plasma arc with small wires. But they all use glass tubes in some way, shape, or form to isolate the, the metal rods from the top. And it's actually worked out great uh, having it that way. Uh, so... Uh, I've endeavored to uh, improve on the that on the glass tube design. Of course, the glass adding glass tubes makes putting the tops together a little bit more difficult, but uh, safety is first. So the six version, what I wanted with the six version top was I wanted to make things simpler. You want to have to have tops for everything. Tops for this size wire, tops for that size wire, tops for this process, tops for that process. And so I got to thinking into ways that I could do that. So version 6 was born. This is version 6.1, 6.0 did not work out so well. And this is what this is what the plasma arc top looks like. You'll see I'm using um eyedroppers using eyedroppers, uh, glass tubes, they're readily available and you you just slide them in and glue them in place and there you got a very precise a plasma arc, this is extremely precise, I am really happy with this. Now, how does this work? What does this work? Believe it or not, there's only one top you need for all of the colloidals. Low voltage electrolysis, high voltage AC, how? I'm calling them pl plugins. These things come out. Plugins. So this is right now is a plasma arc top for a low for small wire. Take out these plugins, and I am now going to put in the plugin for low voltage DC electrolysis. Put them in the top in like this, and now we have a top that is useful for low voltage DC electrolysis. Same top. No need to print up multiple copies of it. So I also have a plug-in for the larger wires because some some of the uh, plasma arc wires uh, require a larger tube. And that's these here. And that's another plug-in that we put in here. It uses the larger glass. And voila. For large wires, we got this one. All with the same top. So... Now, I may have a 6.2 version coming in the works that uses magnets to help position these things in place. Uh, but I'm still experimenting with that idea. I really want to, you know, flesh this out a little bit more before I create a new another version of the top. So I just want to mention that if you're using the using these things, you will have to glue. I use hot glue. So you'll have to glue the glass tubes to the plugins like this. Once you get them, once you get the angle perfect, then you're going to glue them with with some kind of glue. You could try crazy glue. I like the hot glue because like it enables me to pull pull the stuff out and then pull the tubes out. To be honest, crazy glue hasn't held up too good to the with the heat. 
especially when you're cooking colloidal gold and it eventually comes loose anyway. I mean, if any of you know of a material that will uh, secure glass to ABS a little bit better than hot glue, um, pass it along in the notes. The other thing is uh, on the, the one with the small, with using the eyedroppers, you will need to put a drill a hole, a three millimeter hole right here, right on top here, so that the water does not creep out the top. The, the water will hit the hole and get sponged out the top here, and it prevents it from from boil, you know, from coming out the top, which is some sort of natural vibration action because of the size of the, the very small size of this this top here it causes some sort of a pump action to happen. So that's the best way to alleviate that problem. You're going to need a uh, diamond tip drill uh, to drill that hole, and you got to be really slow and careful as you drill it because I've cracked quite a lot of these glass eyedropper tubes uh, trying to drill that hole. So uh, that's the, the fun you're going to have with that. So they're not as, you know, the tops are not as simple as my pure ABS plastic tops where you just printed them out and you were done, but they're safer. So uh, the glass tubes and the uh, are available online. These tubes and the, you know, that used for this and the low voltage electrolysis. Um, all those links will be in the description, uh, as well as this for the uh, eyedropper stuff. I just use eyedropper bottles. I mean, and I just strip the, you know, the eyedropper out of it. So that's it. That's the new tops. I will have them posted for you. Uh, the blueprints are available on the website for those of you that want to print them up yourself and uh, put them together yourself. All right, you've made it to the end of this video. You earned yourself another cool. I'm Hermes, Reality Creative Video, and I will talk to you again soon.